Raising standards is not about redefining skills and strategies across grade levels. Raising standards is about engaging readers in progressively more demanding texts. Hi, I'm Sarah Collins, founder of Read Side by Side Publications and Consulting, author of Raising the Standards Through Chapter Books, The CIA Approach, and author of The CIA Units of Study, a comprehensive curriculum for the English language arts classroom, grades three through six. I began my career as a teacher, teaching in grades three through five. And over those 11 years of teaching, I found an alarming trend emerge in my classrooms. I found that as students moved up the grades, they seemed to become less and less motivated and excited about reading. This trend alarmed me because it seemed that as students became more successful and confident readers, that they would become more interested in reading. I wondered, was I doing something wrong? In 2006, I left the classroom to begin action research. I wanted to look at student engagement and purpose in reading. And in that research, I came up with three key findings. One, students do not know how to access the critical information in the text that they are reading. Two, students do not have the stamina to read increasingly longer texts. And three, students get stuck in the cyclical pattern of over-abandoning text. The more I interacted with these intermediate readers, the more I understood that they were reading with the misconception that at some point the books would magically make sense to them. I don't want my students to read by magic. I want them to read with engagement and purpose. Classroom and national data points to an alarming dip in students' interest in reading by the time students reach fourth grade. Students, as they become stronger, more proficient readers, are losing the joy of reading. This fourth grade slump is related to students struggling to shift from reading relatively easy, familiar words and passages to using their reading skills to acquire new knowledge from increasingly difficult words and texts. For some students, the curriculum used in school makes this transition even more awkward. In 75% of the schools in the United States, students are learning to read from a basil, a collection of picture books, excerpts of novels, and short nonfiction articles. These stories, excerpts, and articles are short and relatively easy. While students successfully practice strategies and skills in these basil reading programs, they struggle to transfer these strategies and skills into texts that they are reading on their own. The shift from short text in guided practice to longer text in independent practice is overwhelming for most readers. They begin to see reading as too hard, boring, and not fun, and they begin to read less. Addressing the fourth grade slump begins with providing good reading instruction in the early grades. Recognizing that the work of K2 is very different than the work of 3-6. Rather than adopting a program that is a one-size-fits-all approach across K5, build a strong foundation in the early grades with a program that ensures that all students learn to read, increase listening comprehension, increase fluency, and increase background knowledge. In grades three through six, build on that foundation while preparing students for the demands of middle school. Increase students' motivation to read. Increase comprehension across text types. Increase stamina through exposure to longer text. And increase confidence in unfamiliar and complex text. The work of grades three through six is urgent. We must motivate students to read texts of increasing complexity that represent varying topics, genres, and lengths. How do the CIA units of study accomplish this? In the CIA classroom, students spend 90 minutes a day reading within instruction. When reading is practiced within instruction, the payoff in terms of reading achievement is high. This is in part due to the stretch that readers are capable of during instructional reading, 
readers reach the height of their instructional range. Conversely, when reading is practiced during self-selected, independent reading, the type of reading practiced in a reader's workshop model, the payoff in terms of reading achievement is very low, especially for struggling readers. This is in part due to the lack of stretch readers receive as they select books at their just right level. 90 minutes of reading a day is achieved through an intentional two-part design. The two-part design of the CIA units of study are in response to the Common Core state standards, which require a paradigm shift for the ELA classroom. Part 1 of the 90-minute literacy block focuses on shared reading or read-aloud, when all students are being given the opportunity to listen to fluent reading while following along in the text and reading in their head. In Read Aloud, all students, no matter their reading level, receive modeling and guided practice in grade-level complex text. Part 2 of the 90-minute literacy block focuses on accountable independent reading. This is the time when all students practice reading text at the height of their instructional range. Students participate in engaged reading with many of the following techniques, response journals, book talks, questions, and author studies. This two-part design is important for achieving accelerated growth in reading. Students in the CIA classrooms average 1.8 years growth in just one year's time on the STAR reading comprehension test. To achieve these results, classrooms must allocate 45 minutes of the day for read aloud. Each day will begin with a 10-minute vocabulary lesson and then move into a 35-minute read aloud. An additional 45 minutes will be needed each day for the book club time. During this time, the teacher gives a five-minute mini lesson, then students begin a 35-minute independent work time, and the time concludes with partner or whole class collaboration. Students discuss their book with their book club group four times throughout each unit and are given time to conference one-on-one -on -one with the teacher. The two-part design of the CIA units follow the gradual release of responsibility. In Read Aloud, the teacher models and guides students as they access grade level and above text. In book clubs, students work independently and meet with their partner or group only when comprehension support is needed. This scaffolding ensures success at high levels. In just one year, all students will read 10 chapter books and 40 nonfiction articles, not to mention the books they will choose to read on their own at school and at home. The CIA units of study place a unique emphasis on chapter book reading. The program recognizes that when reading chapter books, students have to hold on to thinking across days and weeks, revise thinking in as new information is read, access background knowledge, and monitor and fix up comprehension. This work is rigorous, and when practiced, enriched text inspires conversation and collaboration and writing about reading. The CIA approach, Collect, Interpret, and Apply, eases the transition from short text, easy series books, and just right reading, to longer, complex chapter books with new authors, genres, and topics. Students now have a plan of action to guide them through each quadrant of the text and help them gain comprehension. In Quadrant 1, readers collect critical information. They pay attention to the characters, setting, problem, and important events. At the end of Quadrant 1, readers will stop and check themselves by writing a retail summary. As students move into Quadrant 2, they begin to pay attention to the main character and infer character traits. They keep track of key repeated words and phrases throughout the text. They recognize the author's craft and use that to come up with a line of thinking, a theory about what the author is trying to tell them. Readers carry that line of thinking into Quadrant 3, where they now gather evidence to support their thinking. It is at the turning point, the end of Quadrant 3, when the author's message is revealed. 
students will stop and write about the turning point and the author's message before they move into the final quadrant of the book, quadrant four. Here, readers read for enjoyment all the way to the end of the book. When they finish reading, they synthesize their learning and evaluate the author's message. This simple four-quadrant design helps readers pay attention to text structure as they read. The quadrants draw the reader's attention to the critical parts of the plotline. Quadrant one is the exposition of the text. The problem is revealed at the end of quadrant one and forces the rising action. Quadrants two and three are the rising action. Authors use their craft to communicate their message, and this message will be visible halfway through the text when the reader reaches the heart of the story. The turning point at the end of quadrant three is the place where the author's message is fully revealed. The final quadrant, the falling action and resolution is a place where readers read quickly, all the way to the end of the book. This four quadrant design helps readers move from lower level to higher level thinking across a single text. Readers practice all of the Common Core reading standards in every text they read. This unique alignment allows readers to gain mastery of Common Core standards across a variety of genres, topics, and text types. A quick look inside CIA Unit of Study, Realistic Fiction Adventure, Earthquake Terror, shows the type of writing students will engage in throughout the unit. Note-taking and short writing assignments encourage research, writing about reading, and text-dependent tasks across each unit. These same assignments will be completed during book clubs, when students are reading and engaging with text at the height of their instructional range. The CIA units of study are a comprehensive language arts curriculum for grades 3 through 6. The entire sequence at each grade level, five read-aloud units and five book club units, ensure that students are practicing and mastering standards in reading, writing, language, listening, and speaking. Students will master grade level reading standards as they read 10 chapter books each year and over 40 nonfiction articles. Students will practice writing about their reading as they complete 55 writing pieces representing expository, opinion, and research writing. Daily vocabulary instruction will ensure that students are gaining academic language and advanced phonics skills. Words will be recycled across the year in new contexts, giving students multiple exposures and opportunities to practice grade level vocabulary. Daily read aloud lessons will increase students' listening comprehension across multiple genres. Social studies connections will easily be made through rich, engaging topics. Rehearsal of oral language will be a daily part of the classroom through a scripted turn and talk routine. Students will take part in at least 20 book club discussions, all text dependent. Supplement the CIA units with a narrative writing unit, grammar lessons as needed, and phonics and fluency interventions as needed. This will ensure all students receive the tailored instruction they need. Recommended assessments to complement the program include the STAR assessment to be used as a screening tool and progress monitoring tool. The Diagnostic Decoding Survey to diagnose the needs of students who are below grade level in reading comprehension. Formative assessments created by Read Side by Side can be used to track students' daily progress in reading, writing, language, listening, and speaking. Accelerated growth can be yours using the CIA units of study. Students in CIA classrooms average 1.8 years of growth in one year's time, as measured on the STAR Renaissance Assessment. Students in special populations, special education, ELL, and Title I make the most growth using this program. Kristen DeWitt, principal of Seattle School District and former Native School principal says, I have never seen a program work for Native children and children of color the way this program does. It is a culturally responsive, gap-closing curriculum.